They've come from all over Britain to make noise against nature's decline. Marching through central London, more than 300 environmental groups demanded action on climate change, with mainstream organisations shoulder to shoulder with known disruptors like Just Stop Oil, best known for their traffic-stopping slow walks, but today toning down their tactics for a joint cause. I've done lots of uh, walking slowly. I've been sent to prison for that. Uh, it's quite nice to be here today, not, to get, not getting arrested, actually. It's a solidarity across those movements and the, the, uh, the alignment we all have uh, in the face of what is uh, ecological and climate collapse, that we must act and our governments must act. That message echoed by actress Emma Thompson, lending her support to the march. We have to act now. We, 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 we were told this decades ago and we still continue to watch governments ignore the obvious. And amid the music and the props, it's tangible action that the marchers want. Protesters here today say they have several demands for the authorities. They want businesses who pollute the environment to pay more to restore it. They want damaging fossil fuels to be replaced by affordable renewables. And crucially, they want the introduction of a new law that would put nature in the heart of every policy. What do we want? Climate voters! As Britain heads for a general election on the 4th of July, people here say major parties have failed to offer any substantial environment pledges. Politicians don't think it's something that people are concerned about. And it's not something that they, they don't think that they don't think that people will vote with that in mind. But but I, I, I will. The world is uh, is changing rapidly, and the you know the parliamentarians are not uh, taking any notice of that. It's short-term planning. I'm passionate about conserving nature. I think if we destroy nature, we destroy everything that we depend on. A message that the thousands who march to Parliament Square hope will come through to whoever takes the reins of power in Britain next. Milena Vasilinovic, Al Jazeera, London. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.